Good getting internet. Meow. Uh, where we last left off, um, things happened. Oh, hey, look, my frostbite got better. Um, yeah, let's just quickly sell some of our extra crap. I get all kinds in here. Well. Yeah, I mean, it might be a unique weapon, but it's not particularly a good one. Oh, what is unique? Zone. Oh, let's get the pack and start warmer pack. Only one of these I want to keep is the Mantis pack. That that really was the only. Well, meaning. your UC Vanguard pilot power pack might not oh, be yeah. able to buy those. What about the UC security pack? Mm -hmm. Sure, I'll re grab those. Okay. Good enough. I just wanted to at least eliminate some weight. Okay, now that I no longer have a bounty because of stupid reasons. Let's go to... oh, I don't know. Talk to Vavictus. He has some explaining to do. He's got some explaining to do. That's weird. The landmark actually said spaceport. Hmm. You're level 21. Just a baby. Mm-hmm. What's your main Your character? This is gorgeous. A hundred and what? Both on lies. Hundred and nineteen. Mm -hmm. Uh, we leveled up, didn't we? Did you take a perk? No. Ah, oh, you do not have boost assault training. I didn't think I did. I just have boost pack training. Can you take boost assault training? No. Ah. That low level. Yes, I am level 21. You just said that. I have not done enough things to be able to do anything else yet. You want to just save the perk until... Probably. Or I throw one more into weightlifting. Mm, I would do that. My second character is about to get the final tier of weightlifting. I believe my other character already has the final tier of weightlifting. I prioritized it for some strange reason. I don't need it on that character too, that's the weird part. So, that's Satan? That's the elevator. Oh right. I thought you, we were you supposed can go to meet here. Up the stairs. Yeah. I thought we were supposed to meet at Mast. Okay. Subsection 7? Yep. Alright, Sam's gonna have to stand oh, by. Oh, um... What? In the pilot simulator, there's a magazine you didn't pick up, oh, I think. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure you didn't pick it up. Alright. Oh, let me watch some cups fall. Um, pilot simulator. I think it was Vanguard Space Tactics? Uh, it's in one of these back rooms. Either that one or the one on the other side. Um, the other one, I guess? Unless you actually got it? It's been long enough ago that I wouldn't remember. There it is. Ship missiles permanently deal 5% more damage. If only I had any ship missiles. Because I'm not using missiles right now. 
But you might yeah. at some point. I'm not saying it's worthless or anything, just <coughs> not particularly useful at this exact moment. Now, has Bevictus broken out somehow? So this is where the UC hides all the scary shit they're doing. What I'd give to have all the rangers with me right now. <laughs> yep, it's fair. Authorized personnel only. Your friend has to stay here. That's a fair cop. I'll, uh, just stay here. Yeah, you know, a former Freestar Collective ranger should probably not go in the scary place. I'm sure that there's a way to get through with him. Just because Bethesda. I still think it's rude of them to not even provide a bench or something. Mm-hmm. All right, Mr. Victus. Well, what a pleasant surprise. When I heard you and Hadrian were headed for Londinian, of all places, I presumed you must be on to something oh. big. Hold on, Did Mama. you find what you were looking for? I want to actually use the mm -hmm. skill for once. Recognition. Yep, which is the reason why I did not want to read any further. Okay. Recog. I just need to use it before talking to him, right? Yep. Well, what a pleasant surprise. When I heard, did you find what you were looking for? Future unclear! I'm not going to accuse him of that, mm -hmm. because I still have that theory that it's a clone. Now, this could be the real one, and the clone's the one that's out okay. about doing things, but he is stuck here. Yeah? Did you? Well, I don't know what you think you heard on this recording, but I sincerely hope you didn't come to the wrong conclusions, after all. Given the cabinet's current state of anxiety, they might misinterpret such a discovery to mean I could have been involved with the attacks. Perhaps I can convince you to keep this among us. Ah. Uh. Do I look like I'm in any position to do what you're describing? So I'd very much appreciate your agreement to not share what you found. We wouldn't want anyone else jumping to conclusions now, would we? Oh, hey, look, my frostbite's getting better. Uh, I, I mean, all three of these have the exact same... Precog. So precognition's not been very helpful in this conversation. No. But I am going to tell the cabinet about what we learned. Yeah. <laughs> you know you're far more clever than I expected. You want to hear the words then. I did it. The Terramorph attacks on Tau City. New Atlantis. My doing. Years of coordination between my associate and I. Figuring out how to deploy the Lazarus plant's pollen outside of Londinian. Learning to synthesize it. Use it as a weapon. Now, being as clever as you are, I'm sure you have thoughts on why I might do such a thing.
Who has he been working with? All in due time. First, I want to see if you're truly as astute as you appear. So why would someone like me go through all this trouble? Because it's something personal. Because he's not a madman. He is a murderer, but mm -hmm. he everything that he's done has had a reason. It may not be a good reason, mind you. It may not be a reason I agree with. But everything he's done has had a reason. And this is not a good way to show the UC that they have a deadly weapon. No. They know they have a deadly weapon. Mm. They knew that in theory there would be a well, way to do it. Precognition is giving you some hints here. Yeah. Has to be something you personal. Right. The attacks were a correction. When I discovered the plant, I did consider handing over what I'd found, but we were at war. And I can risk information that dangerous falling into the wrong hands. So I ordered the bombing of the Londinian spaceport, fixing two problems at once. Halting the spread of the city's terramorph outbreak and sealing away knowledge of the plant's potential. Yeah, that much was obvious. It's easy to judge now, but the Freestar Collective had spies everywhere. In that moment, I wasn't about to add another dangerous variable to an already catastrophic war. But then, as the war ended, my trial, my execution, I made a decision. After all, I'd given everything for the colonies. My life as I knew it included, and what did I get in return? Was there any effort by the UC to protect mm -hmm. my legacy? My daughter's legacy? No. We were sacrificed when all we did was serve. Yo, you did a lot more than So I kept what I'd learned and arranged the attacks to set things right again. My daughter. She becomes a hero. I become a trusted advisor. Having found Kaiser. The research team. And cement my new position of influence when I hand them the name of the person responsible for the attack on New Atlantis. The dear departed Dr. Reginald Orlais, the associate who aided me all these years, mm. and whom I always slated to take the fall. What luck he was stopped dead before he could hurt anyone else. His decades on the run brought to an end by another unlikely hero. You. Why does that name sound familiar? As, as if... Can't remember the many lives you've taken? Hmm. I remember him. Yes, I remember. Oh, hush. It wasn't easy. But the beauty of being loathed is that people will do whatever they can not to deal with you. They wanted to pretend I didn't exist. And so I used their blind eye to my advantage. Still, establishing a back channel to Orlais via the UC recovery teams was painstaking work. I've led mm -hmm. campaigns less nerve-wracking. They believed they were luring in wanted criminals, but were in fact delivering precisely encoded slates, filled with instructions invisible to any but their recipient, dropped off at just the right moments to fall into the proper hands. All without the UC realizing whom you were actually dealing with. Slow work. 
but as you can see, ultimately effective. Um, one thing uh, I've noticed when uh, re-watching these mm -hmm. is that sometimes we are blocking the dialogue options. Yes. So you can't necessarily read what mm. your character is saying, so it works much better if you speak out the lines. Yeah, that's a fair point. Um, back when I was more heavily editing, I was actually shifting the camera back and forth, but I really don't want to heavily edit these things anymore. Mm. It's a pain, and I don't want to get backlogged. I mean, I know why he wants the UC at consider him advisor, because he's dead otherwise. Mm -hmm. Why would I want to be in the good graces of the people who control my very life? I don't know, Captain. Maybe I still dream of a life outside these walls someday. A new face would be needed, of course, but it wasn't an impossibility. Though now, I'm not so sure. So, I'm your cleanup crew. You must think you're so clever. Captain, please. You've benefited here as much as I have. Maybe more. It's why I had our lays reprogram Kaiser. Mm -hmm. Had that old machine guide you to where I found the plant all those years ago. I went to great lengths to ensure your and Hadrian's success. And look at the results. I know for a fact the cabinet's planning to honor both you and Hadrian once this is all done. Isn't that preferable to languishing away in obscurity? Running jobs on the tail end of nowhere for the Vanguard? With only the vague hopes of perhaps earning the right to buy a home in the well someday. <laughs> I mean, that, that is a really good line. Yes. I'm simply looking for you to acknowledge the truth. And let's not forget the importance of our actual endgame. Eliminating the terramorphs. Securing knowledge of the Lazarus plant. What we've set in motion is going to protect thousands. Maybe millions of lives. I'm simply requesting one more life be protected. Mine. I've already sent along the evidence of Orlaza's role in the attacks to the cabinet leaving out my own involvement. All I ask is that you confirm as much to the cabinet. Tell them that it was our lays and our lays alone. After all, I do still have a long list of threats to the UC. This needn't be the end of our good works together. Hmm. Yeah, you may be saving thousands or millions of lives, but you bombed a city of millions. And did many other really bad things during the war. Don't get me wrong. Hmm. And how many have you killed to get where you are now? There are no great works that don't cost lives, Captain. Whether it's winning a war, or digging a tram tunnel. So we sacrificed a few dozen in the attacks to possibly protect millions. That seems like a fair exchange to me. I only hope you'll see the same, and leave my name out of the discussions to come. Hunting down criminals. And other threats to the United Colonies. I expect they'll give me a bit more free range once this is all over. You would help me, like you did with Orlais. Track them down, and keep them from doing harm to the United Colonies. Impossible, though, if the Cabinet learns I'm the one responsible for the attacks. This is a somewhat interesting conundrum to be in. Mm-hmm. Like... I don't... Trust him a yeah, bit. Yeah, that's the he, problem. He needs to be held accountable for what he did. Yeah. So, okay, so if this was an RPG, as in tabletop RPG, not video game RPG, 
My answer would be telling the cabinet and then letting the cabinet know, hey, you should keep using him. Just pretend like you're going to give him everything. Mm -hmm. And keep using him. And keep using him. Because he no longer has contacts with the outside world, outside of going through the UC. So now that the UC knows how everything's working, they could just make sure that it doesn't work. But that's not so going to be an option in the video game. I mean, I'm still going to tell the cabinet regardless. Mm -hmm. I am playing a goody-goody two-shoes. But I don't know if I would rub it into him. So I think yeah. I'm actually going to say, I don't know what I'm going to tell. Well, I do hope you'll keep the larger perspective in mind, Captain. We've done something great here. Let's not squander the opportunity to do more. Because I do have to talk with Hadrian and Percival first. How much you want to bet that the two of them are going to have opposite opinions on this. Percival is going to side with Bevictus. Hadrian is going to go, screw him, kill him. Authorized personnel only. Your friend has to stay I here. must confess, the hum of a grab drive makes me feel alive. Too bad you're not in a facility with one. Let's go then. Silly Sam. Where is that? Ah, in here. Unconfirmed? Yeah, oh, it's the port factions. Territory. Yeah. That is simply... Again. Whoa. Perfect timing. We just got in. So on our end, good news. The Microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against Terramorphs. Means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things fast enough. I already sent along info to the Cabinet to get them up to speed. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Yep. Did my father tell you what he knew about the Lazarus plant? Yep. Mm -mm. Not lying. I knew it. The second I heard that recording, I knew. Why? Did he say why he did it? Oh, this is going to crush you. But telling you the truth. <laughs> It takes some deeply twisted logic to think anything did more harm to the Sanan name than him. I know what it's like having a famous name, but this is flat out insane. Monstrous. Well, once we inform the cabinet, they can ensure he won't be able to do anything like this ever again. Yeah, I think we should mention that he asked for it. Mm -hmm. So he asked we leave out his involvement in the attacks. Says, consider the lives he helped save. I'm sure he did. But he killed dozens of people. And I'm not about to let him get away with something like that. So I guess that gives us our final answer. Nothing mm -hmm. left to do but head in and see what the cabinet thinks of it all. Unless there was more to discuss. This might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the Cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramorphs. Alright. So what do you think the Captain will do... Captain? Cabinet will do when they hear about Vevictus' involvement? It's hard to know. Unlike my father, the Cabinet aren't butchers. 
But killing UC citizens, along with everything else he's done, is unforgivable. But if you're really that concerned, you could request they be lenient. They might be willing to spare him. What kind of risks are there if we decide to bring back the Asilis? Asilis aren't hostile to humans, but they are mega fauna. If someone decides to pick a fight with one, <laughs> it could get ugly. But they've already been spread far and wide once before when the UC was raising them as livestock, so the risk of introducing them to new worlds is minimal. Using them to clean up the terramorphs and leeches, though, it's not going to be nearly as expedient as the microbe would be. Given what we know now about the Lazarus plant, the speed of the job does matter. But going with the Asilis, we're at least dealing with known risks. So both approaches are effective against heat leeches. They are. Microbe needed minimal adjustment to account for heat leech anatomy. And the Asilis seem like they're even better at tracking leeches than morphs. Hell of a sight to watch, though, when they catch them. Like an open airlock guzzling angry spaghetti. <laughs> I'm sorry, that image in my mind. Yes. <laughs> the mental image is very... Yes. Very. So, which are the two of you dealing toward? Leaning toward? Microbe is going to make the cleanup a whole lot quicker. If we're concerned about this Lazarus plant getting deployed again, that's the way to go. The cabinet can secure the Lazarus plant. And then we're not risking any surprises when it comes to dealing with a microbe you're being paranoid you know the science you know we can make this safe i do know the science i also know math and a one in a million chance of a mutation isn't zero so i guess we're still in discussion probably best at this point to let the cabinet weigh in see if they have a preference yeah microbes tend to evolve faster than yes because Animals. It's evolving based off of generations, and microbes don't last long. So each generation's very quick by comparison. Yeah. Not that, you know, living in a pandemic means we know anything about this whatsoever. <laughs> so, um, we have exhausted all of the speech options. Mm -hmm. Let's go. And here we go. <sighs> kind of wish I would have brought Sarah, but... <laughs> I do Bethesda characters walk so slow. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. Is Major Sandin getting a promotion? That really happened, right? Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. But according to Hadrian's report, and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence, but a planned strike. Is what I'm reading here true? Is that second report from who I think it's from? This report comes from a particularly confidential source both you and I are familiar with, yes. Among the reasons its findings are so alarming. Now, is it true? Was the attack on New Atlantis planned? Yes. It was a deliberate attack. My God. An attack? Using terror morphs? How is that possible? You will all receive a full briefing once we're done here. <laughs> So then, is what the second report claims correct? Did Reginald Orlais commit these attacks, Captain? Orlais? That report isn't the whole truth. Orlais helped, but they think disorganized the attacks. I'm not supposed to say his name, you know. I'm going to, though. Hmm. It's true, ma'am. I heard the recording myself. My father figured out how to use terramorphs as weapons. He did what? That... that... that's impossible. He doesn't have the kind of access to... Clearly, he made his own access, Chief Sarkin. Madam President, I have been saying for years that not dealing with that man was gonna end in tragedy. 
Enough! I hope everyone here understands that what has just been shared is a state secret of the highest order. <laughs> this information does not leave this room. Now, that's quite the accusation you're leveling. Considering Francois Sanon has not left containment for the better part of two decades. You have evidence to back this up? My emergency recorder snippet. It just transformed. A terror out of thin air. An invisible weapon. No plan would be safe. Heavens help us. It is that actually him? I'd know that voice anywhere. That's Francois. He knew they could do this. And said nothing. He's a sociopath. Plain and simple, mm -hmm. ma'am. Officer, please collect that recording. Yes, ma'am. Begging your pardon, Captain? We'll, of course, be launching a full investigation into how this could have happened. Though I have little doubt the Admiral will be quick to share all he knows on the subject, once confronted with that recording. Chief Yassin, can you send one of your interrogators to have a little chat with the Admiral? I'll issue the order immediately. Good. Combined with everything else you all have uncovered. Well, I don't think the United Colonies can thank you enough. We failed the people of the Colonies by not dealing with Vevicta sooner. I intend to rectify that mistake immediately. Oh boy. So I think we should ask first what's going to happen to him. Mm -hmm. That will be up to the cabinet to decide. But I don't appreciate our mercy being taken advantage of. I don't blame you. Can you make sure he has no more outside contacts? He used UC functionaries to get his messages out. That's... <laughs> That's truly disconcerting to hear. But cutting off Ve Victus's contact with the outside world is likely to be just the beginning of his punishment. I mean, oh, my frostbite got cured. Um, cutting off his contact with the outside world will also include cutting off his contacts between his vertebrae. That might be what they're going for. So, let's think. Again, if this was a pen and paper RPG, my answer would be telling them, hey, look, just lie to Vevictus, he has no way of knowing. Mm -hmm. That's not an option. It appears as though there's three options, effectively, which is kill him, leave it up to the cabinet, or request that his life be spared. Obviously, we would have no control past that. Yes, I know, Madam President. Um, but... This is above our pay grade. Yeah. I'm kind of leaning toward let the cabinet decide. They have all of the evidence. It's not like they don't know that Vevictus helped. In both sides. It's well past due. Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you brought together here, the Lazarus plant, the attacks... The heat leeches. The three of you have likely spared thousands of lives. But it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can Excuse never that. happen again. As such, the cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian. All materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. Hmm. What measures are you taking? Well, luckily the natural hostility of Londinian makes keeping out trespassers relatively easy. But we'll ensure its growth is contained. That access to the plant is only permitted via highly regulated clearances and that our troop presence on Londinian is increased. But I think the other faction should be involved in securing it. Part of the arrangement that we had with the other factions was giving them the information. Mm. 
Not about the Lazarus plant, though. No, but about the Terramorphs. The Lazarus plant's existence and what it does is absolutely pertinent into that. Mm -hmm. I know it says future unclear, but... This is going to cause an argument, isn't it? Probably. Tell the Freestar Collective. Why? So they have another tool to utilize against us? I'm in agreement. I fail to see the value here. I mean, These are of topics are of the utmost importance. Take your time. I mean, one, hey, look, we found out that this horrible, terrible person was also planning on doing this. Here's all of the information. We're not doing it. Or, you know what? We're actually volunteering this information. Mm-hmm. They're both the same answer. Both of those are good options. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I would lean towards... Yeah. It demonstrates to the Collective that the UC isn't planning to secretly use this down the line. At least it would bring some adults in the room. Hell, Cora would handle this situation better than the whole UC <laughs> High Command. Oh, that is an interesting idea. A grand gesture to further display this cabinet doesn't think like those of the past. Yeah. The observers on Mars have proven such a gesture can bear fruit. So, you want us to make nice with the Collective by sharing our state secrets? No, I want us to display plainly the UC's actual intentions, that the mm -hmm. plant will never be used as a weapon again. Huh. That does sound worthwhile, Chief Kalkarni. Very well. We'll get the Collective involved in the management. Thank you for the suggestion, Captain. So then, to our final topic. The Cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heat Leech presence on human worlds. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asili's are the safer approach. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps? The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes, mm -hmm. don't they? As you can see, there remains debate <laughs> among the cabinet. No. We were hoping your group might I'm issue a recommendation. Major? We've been having similar debates ourselves. But the captain has yet to weigh in. I see. Captain, <laughs> I know this may not be your area of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter. Oh boy. So, our options include deploying the Asilis as the safest route, that's my vote. Terramorphs have caused enough damage, they need to be wiped out quickly with the microbe. Do we need to do anything? Shouldn't we just need to secure the Lazarus? Yeah, no, we need to do something because we have Terramorph problems. I still had questions about the methods, and I need a moment to collect my thoughts. Please, sure. ask. I don't think there's any anything new. Will the other factions be involved in the cleanup efforts as well? This won't work without them. Exactly right, ma'am. The Interstellar Affairs Office has already begun reaching Good. out to worlds throughout the settled systems, informing them of the risks we're all facing, and that the UC has a plan to prevent what happened on New Atlantis from happening elsewhere. Thus far, the response has been overwhelmingly positive. The spirit of mutual cooperation displayed between the UC and the Freestar Collective in managing the Terramorph data set a good tone for the work we're doing, Captain. We expect we'll hit some resistance, but our office has plenty of carrots and sticks to ensure the program's widespread success. Stick. Who exactly is going to be doing all of the work anyway? The responsibilities will be spread across multiple branches of the UC. Research and day-to-day -day administration will be handled by a new group under the Science Division. 
All diplomatic concerns and coordination will fall to Chief Yassin and Interstellar Affairs. But most of the actual on-the-ground work, that'll be handled by the Vanguard. I'm starting to see what the infinite missions are going to be for this. Mm -hmm. What are the chances, really, that this microbe could cause problems to humans and or other species? Infinitesimally low. But, but not, not zero. zero. <laughs> the chance of a starship landing on you as you sit here isn't zero. Yet you still attend it. Personally, my fear isn't mutation, but Terramorphs developing a resistance. But that's something our group can continue yeah. to address if we decide to take this approach, as I believe we should. How about the dangers of bringing back the Asilis? I can feel this one. While intimidating creatures, certainly, Asilis are docile and less provoked. They're honestly closer to oversized mobile scanners than deadly predators. The concern is that, while all proposed methods will be long-term efforts, the Asilis are the slowest. Slow to breed, slow to deploy. We do everything we could to accelerate that process, including mustering some of our mothballed cloning technologies. But if we do elect to use this method, we'll be doing things at the pace of a megafauna, which is not an expedient one. But a better future for the next generation. Yeah. Very well. Then did you have a preference on the method we should deploy? Absolutely. Yeah. Like, it is obvious we need to do something, so I'm not even going to bother dignifying that with a click. Mm-hmm. And I don't need a moment to collect my thoughts. I'm pretty certain we need to deploy the Asilis. Team Asilis all the way. Now, I do have a different answer. Again, this would be my answer in a tabletop role-playing game. Deploy the microbe on Lindinian. Hmm. There's already no people living there. You're not going to make it worse. And that place needs a quick cleanup. We're waiting on you, Captain. I'm in full agreement. No need be delving into unpredictable sciences. That's not. The I problem. expect my evening constitutionals are about to become a whole lot more eventful. <laughs> Hardly. You may just have a little more company than before. Order, please. <laughs> and Major Sanan, Doctor Walker, you'd find this acceptable? We trust the captain's judgment. Then the matter is settled. We'll begin the process immediately. Today. Marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division, making you three the founding members of the TMD. As befits such a group, the Cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. Today, we will be adding three new Class One citizens to our ranks. Class One? For the three of us? Are you joking? It's a tier based system. What yeah. it means to say is. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. What is a class one citizen? Yeah. It's a status reserved only for those who've dedicated their lives to the United Colonies or done great things for its cause. Class ones enjoy an ample credit disbursement, an additional reduction on the cost of colonial goods. And I'm told the penthouse is rather impressive. Um, thank you, Madam President. I don't like the whole... I don't like the idea that there are some citizens who are more citizen than others. They could have just phrased it as, we're giving you an award. Yeah. Like, here is your new title type of thing. That's a different story than... You all have earned it. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sanan, Dr. Walker... I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts, spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. And as a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you, Captain, will have your pick of duties. Speak to your commander. Tuala, if I recall correctly. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned. Because what I dislike about this is that means everyone else is a second class citizen. Yep.
Legacy Cord Complete. Which you can unlock. Oh. Didn't realize that achievement was for this questline. By the way, Captain, Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like he's got more work. <laughs> Alright, um... Bobby. Let's get keys to the penthouse and take a look. Yeah. Let's see how the apartment looks. That was a long load time. Informed us of your new status. Congratulations on making class one. What are you holding? Are you going to use precognition? Thank you. Oh, remind me to stay on your good side. Yeah, probably. Well, well, I've got to say, this is a first. I've never had a class one citizen in my ranks before. Congratulations, Captain. So, can you tell me what being a class one citizen is? It's a high honor. Have to do something big for the colonies to earn that sort of designation. Only ever met a couple myself, and certainly never given one orders. You should be real proud. Um... Yeah, I'm just here to collect whatever it is that this thing pays. Luckily, I'm one step ahead of you. I've already gone ahead and processed your Class 1 benefits. All UC goods and services should now have a thanks for protecting the colonies discount. And the credits should be in your accounts now. But to get into your penthouse, oh, you'll have to pay a visit that. to the Affilion Realty Office. They should be able to grant you access. 12,000 credits. Hmm? I gained 12,000 credits. So my options include, that's incredibly generous. Glad to see that UC gives credit where credit's due. Rather drink engine oil than live in New Atlantis, but at least the price is right. Or where's this realty office? Just out the front door and across the plaza, by the embassies. Look for plaza. the affiliate sign. Well, that is incredibly Pirates generous. I just wanted to make sure you know how much they appreciate what you've done. But with all that squared, it's time to get you a new assignment. There are your standard vanguard missions, putting those pilot skills to use defending UC space. Or you could help the TMD in cleaning up terramorphs. Yeah. Oh, and I got a request from Dr. Walker. Wanted your help collecting biological samples to keep an eye out for any uh, new alien threats on the horizon. Any of those missions call to you? Hmm. Yeah, we've technically only <laughs> done one Vanguard mission. <laughs> Get a chance to bag some bugs. I'm at least going to pick up the quest. I'm not necessarily mm -hmm. going to go out and do it. Sure. You'll have all the specifics. If you find yourself looking for more work, you know where to find me. All right. So, let's go look at that penthouse suite. Do I have a quest for it? Probably. L for missions. Log. Yeah, I know, but... I'm probably in activities. No. no. Hmm. Surprised. Well, it's not that hard to find. No, I just never remember where anything's at. I think it's right there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's the Aphelion. I believe no, it is. That's... Yeah, that's Aphelion. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. Never a better time than right now to settle down and make New Atlantis home. Uh, if you're a yeah. citizen, of I'm course. Definitely a citizen at this well, point. Well, well. If it isn't the United Colonies' newest Class 1 citizen, you've made quite a name for yourself in New Atlantis. In fact, the higher ups want to thank you for your dedicated service by giving you one of the nicest pieces of real estate in the city. It's a premium penthouse at the Mercury, top of okay. Mercury Tower. Best location in New Atlantis, in my professional opinion. 
Can you give it to what my do parents? What you say? It'll just take a second to get you registered as the owner. I mean, it's free? <laughs> Maybe like... Great! You're in for a real treat. It's one of my favorite apartments in the city. Beep, okay, beep. you're all set. Your new home's located in Mercury Tower in the residential district. You'll love the place. It has a gorgeous floor plan and an unbeatable view of the city. Now that you're an owner, I'm sure I'll be seeing you around town. My parents live here. Building materials added to ship's cargo hold. What? Yeah, it does that whenever you buy a house. Ah, okay. No, back black licorice. Ew. <laughs> Dang Scandinavians wanting their black licorice everywhere. Actually, I probably would like cherry the most. Uh, cherry would be the most disgusting to me. Actually, I would probably prefer the black licorice over cherry. You know, for the same reason why many Europeans do not like the taste of root beer. Because cherry is the taste of cough medicine. And I had way too much of it growing up. That's why I don't like the taste of artificial grape, also. So, it was none of those towers, right? Are you going to visit your parents? Yes. They're right over there? Yeah. Yeah, it was Mercury. Yeah. I figured I would visit my parents first. Bring Sam to meet the parents. wonder if that is something that you have to do. Like, after you get in a relationship. I haven't Flamenco. gotten in a relationship what? with a character For who has parents. Flamenco. Or... Actually, yeah, I or have. Or we could do salsa. I told you, my left feet have left feet. The activity will do you good. But dancing? I mean, couldn't we, I don't know, do... Oh, yes. Anything. All right. Dancing it is. But something beginner-friendly. Like fit for a toddler. Just so you know, your mother's missed you. Like a lot. But you're closer, so I'm not talking. No, there we go. Everyone in my poker night is going nope. to hear about you. Take care, kiddo. You forgot to bring a plant. Sounds. Oh darn I'm it! You're a right. Grocery run later. Talking with you has made my uh, day. My plans. I'm being serious. Um, my plants are not here. I noticed that the door was closed the instead of open. Lamp planter is one that you put there. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay. I don't think I have a plant in my inventory right now because I did not... Yeah, you have nothing oh, in miscellaneous. Dang it, me. Kind of disappointing that they don't have anything to say. No I don't know about yeah. you. Con congratulations or anything. Yeah, I expected that one to trigger something. Maybe they'll show up at your new apartment. Throw you a, a moving in party. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> But I just want to give my apartment to them. You can have it. I mm -hmm. don't need it. And then you don't need to send them money anymore. <laughs> Quest reward. Remove kids stuff straight. No! No! You, you keep the there price, but you don't have to pay for it anymore. Mercury Tower. Oh, that movie was epic. Definitely better than the last Interceptor. But why did they replace the handler? I thought the actress was amazing. Turned him down. She apparently signed on to do some. I don't think I've heard this one before. King Lear, I think. How many damned versions of Shakespeare do we need? I mean, after King Cade's King Lear, why bother, right? Huh? You have hidden depths, my friend. Hey. Going to the penthouse because that's the only place this elevator goes. Okay. Large living area. Kitchen seems reasonable. Except you can't actually cook on that stove. Yes, but I'm picturing it, okay? The cabinetry doesn't exist. <laughs> but it looks like they have a little... Pantry? Pantry? Presumably those are supposed to be cabinets, I can't tell.
Closet? Yeah. Okay. yeah. No, that, that's Neither? too small. <laughs> I'll go outside in a bit. A large apartment, that's for sure. Bathroom. Nice, spacious bathroom. Yep. Toilet paper roll does not open on either side because it's just a roll. But yes, nice, spacious bathroom with an empty space. You could have had a bathtub as well as a shower. That should have been a washer and dryer hookup location. Yeah. And yes, definitely needed a bathtub. Bedroom. Has art on the wall already. Along with outside, which I will get to after a while. Closet. Ooh, personal bathroom. bathroom. That is it a comes with soap and a paper towel. More toilet room. Shower. Shower hats is so weird. Like, where's the water coming from? It has to be coming from the wall because there's only two directions that are piped. Get a little washcloth. So this is a three to four bedroom penthouse suite. Nope. And a washing machine with no dryer. Or a dryer. That's a dryer. There's no washing machine. Why would he have just the dryer? I don't know. Maybe it's a combination of washer dryer. Oh, could be. Those do exist. Yeah, but they're terrible. Yes, but maybe they're better in the future. I doubt it. Hopefully. So, what's outdoors look like? Okay, yeah, I can see it. I can understand the view now. Yeah, but it's facing away from the city. Well, this side is. Remember, I have two balconies. You do? Yes. There's another one in the bedroom. You know, just like our previous apartment. Wait, that's the bathroom. Hopefully they don't have automatic flushing toilets like your previous apartment. Oh, yeah. That, on the other hand, is facing the city. And that's the penthouse suite. Mm. You can see the you can see your ship from here. Yep. Okay, I will have to admit, this is probably one of the better houses. Mm. Are you gonna build something? Like a bed? Yes. But where's the console for doing that? Mm. Um, hit F, then R. Ah. Ah, I have not played around with the, um... But, uh, there's probably a panel you can access. I yeah, just... the panel was what I was looking for. Bed. Ah, uh, you haven't, uh, done the research to get an even nicer bed that requires luxury textile to build no that's probably yeah that's the best you have how do it. i rotate the bed mouse buttons and you can't move to adjust it so it's really hard to get it even That's pretty darn even. Yeah. We're at the last minute. Yep, that's why I wasn't planning on doing much of anything else. Um, let's see. So are we doing uh, all that money can buy next time? I guess. There's a self-service clearing, uh, self-service bounty clearance and the mission board. You can also make a constellation mission board. Yep. Various racks and mannequins. Yeah, I think it's 16 or 18 mannequins when you have done all of the research. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it was 24. It was a lot. And all the crafting stuff. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time.
Bye. Bye.